Evening guys, Automotive Inquires here. Had a request to do kind of a night shot of what the Telluride looks like um, on the, uh, most likely the interior lights and everything. Stays uh, real light out here in Colorado for quite a while, but uh, so super bright headlights and everything. And uh, so, we hit the unlock you can see how bright it gets it flashes that uh, ring on there and everything and then something that I actually really dig on the stinger and the telluride is as you approach these mirrors pop out and I really really like there's a small light inside the handle itself so you got to back away for a second because it comes on and approaches and when it's pitch black it, it lights up the ground uh, just as good as one um, that's specifically on the mirror I guess if you will so we'll walk up to this guy and you see right there that light that comes on super bright it's actually really good um, really awesome because you know where you're grabbing you can see if it's icy and whatnot Come back here, we have the uh, LED tail lights. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up real quick. So everything's super bright in here. Um, everything's LED. So all the way back, it does real well. So let's go ahead and just fire it up. I'm gonna just step out. So I'll show you these lights. So, as you can see right there, I mean, these things are not air bending, so the lights don't move, but they are LED. And even on the my, my Stinger that doesn't have LED headlights like the GT, uh, Kia's done something real well with their lights. I mean, they're super, super bright. And of course, this is probably blinding you most likely. But, I mean, you can see for miles, it's crisp, very crisp light. That's kind of the garage wall, how, how bright it is in there. You can see that line cutting across the wall from it. Um, but good angles. And let's go back to the back. So, again, it's pretty cool. The back end is pretty simple. Put the lights on. So, it'll shut down here in just a second. There we go. Um, so, you can just see right there. I mean, you can see how bright the headlights are. They're creating such an ambient light in here that's nuts. Um, but everything's lit up, like all the USB ports, which is pretty cool. Something that you can see right here, I put it on green because green is probably the easiest to see with when it's not pitch black but it has tons of different colors of ambient mood lighting. I just like it because it kind of puts off a comfortable glow. The kids like it. So let's go up front. All right, so no floor lamps down there where your feet are at. That's okay. Um, got the ambient light here, ambient light right here. The thing you have it over here, and then you have it on the door. So, and then one thing I like about the white uh, electroluminescent lights in some of these newer cars versus some colors I mean, it, it really does look like a cockpit in here. Um, everything's super easy to find in the light, it's not overbearing. Of course, you can adjust the, uh, the light brightness and stuff in here. <clears throat> But super, super easy to find and see in here and everything. And then when you go into your menu here and you want to change ambient lighting, I think they said there's like a hundred plus combos. You hit your setup button, you're going to go in here to vehicle, and then you're going to go to lights, ambient light. And then this is where you control your brightness or your custom color. Uh, I mean, there's so many. Um, different ones that you can create your own set custom color you you can drag it around in this blot until you find it and then that is what lights up the 
the colors so if you did like blue flight it automatically changes over here so some colors f seem brighter than others yellow is kind of hard to see um, but I had the ambient light in my Ford Flex I dug that it was really cool um, let's see if I can shut off the headlights real quick to get just a little more light in here all right so now that the headlights are off um, you can just kind of see a little bit better um, but uh, really nice soft lighting in here and everything um, so everything's on here and like I said you can find stuff I mean just navigating the, the cockpit and stuff over here so this doesn't have the heads up display which would be right above this gauge cluster which would be something else that you could see at night but um, this video I uh, can't show it to you because I don't have it in this car um, but it would be kind of hard to see anyway and then because of the video I'm not sure how the LED lights were going to be picked up sometimes if you see it if somebody's showing you a video of lights on a car or something like that it looks like they're fluttering sometimes it's the frame rate um, of the cameras catching that LED it does blink um, but to the, to the normal eye you can't see it but the cameras can catch, catch it so if anything in here kind of looks like it's fluttering if you will or whatnot um, you know it's actually not outside so but cameras and everything still look pretty good I mean considering you know so that's pretty good and then the backup camera at night um, is actually really good again like I said it's lit up because I have the brake lights on if I set the parker brake and take that off you can see that it does lighten it up pretty good and then uh, the 360 cameras like I said you can see the bending lines in the dark too so um, you know very very good light light setup everything's very clear now obviously during the day at night this is a little bit more grainy um, and then if you look right there where you saw my taillights flashing uh, blinking real quick that's some of the dealer installed uh, you care less about it but it basically if it just kind of quickly flashes your lights so let people know that you're you know stopping or whatever so and then your system here will automatically go from night mode to day mode um, if you set it up to do so so this map normally would be like tan or beige and everything else is lighter to see so that way it's just not glaring in your in your face so but hopefully that helps um, if I had more people we could do like an actual driving one where we're out driving in it but unfortunately um, I'm just a one-man band so but if you guys have any more questions would like to see anything else just uh, let me know drive safe out there guys